My first idea for this video was to make some really easy battery which was inspired by the research paper from Stanford with the title Membrane Free Zinc Manganese Flow Battery for Large Scale Energy Storage. But then I changed my mind and to this battery I will make some little change. Years ago, the Stanford University released some research paper with the title of Membrane Free Zinc Manganese Flow Battery for Large Scale Energy Storage. And actually, this kind of battery is really, really easy to make. Because to make this battery, all the materials you can really easily find on eBay or Amazon. And actually, what you need is some carbon felt, zinc, some zinc sulfate, manganese sulfate, and then in the end, you will also need some spacer which will separate the positive and the negative uh, half of the cell. Because, like the title already say, it is some membrane free zinc manganese flow battery, which means that this kind of battery don't require any separator. But instead of separator, they use some two millimeter spacer. And like I said before, my first idea was to make this kind of battery, but then I decided that I will use a little bit different approach to make this battery. Because in my last video, I make this agar based membrane. And for this reason, I was thinking that I will make some zinc manganese gel battery based on agar. But please note that this idea is really, really fresh because uh, with this uh, zinc manganese gel battery I came up three days ago so for this reason like I said the idea is really fresh and there are many options to improve this kind of battery and actually if you have some interest to this research paper from Stanford then all the links will be in the video description and now I will prepare the gel so this gel is actually a really important part of this battery because the gel acts like separator, electrolyte and active material at once. And with this gel I will also minimize the construction of the cell because the cell in the end is made only from three parts. The cathode, the anode and the gel between. And actually that's it. So if you see my last video where I make this agar gel membrane, then you will note that the most of the process is really similar. So first what I need is 30 milliliters of water. Okay. And this water I will heat to 90 degrees C. Then now I will also prepare my agar and the amount which I will use will be 2.6 grams of agar. And now for the last, I also need to prepare the electrolyte. Uh, because here I use some zinc manganese uh, chemistry, for this reason I will need some uh, zinc sulfate and some manganese sulfate. So over here I have two mole of zinc sulfate and over here I have also two mole of manganese sulfate. And the amount of each electrolyte will be 5 grams. Um, so in this stage you can also experiment with the amounts but right now I will use 5 grams of manganese sulfate and 5 grams of zinc sulfate. Okay.
And that's it about the electrolyte. So about this zinc manganese uh, battery, please note that the capacity will depend how much electrolyte and how concentrated will be electrolyte in this gel. And to get the idea of the energy density, here is the theoretical volumetric energy density on different concentrations of the electrolyte. Okay, the water is now heated more than 90 degrees C. Uh, and in this stage, I will add some agar. Okay. And now I will also add the electrolyte. And now I need to wait that this solution will start to boil. Okay, and now I will form the membrane. So what is really nice by this gel is, if you heat the gel, you can reform the membrane to any thickness you like. And actually, that side is ready. So the cat out the anode and the gel between. And after charging, here is my zinc manganese gel battery. So really, really nice. Um, the typical voltage of this kind of battery is around 1.7 volts. But anyway, let's check what will be the voltage of this cell. And for now I get the voltage of 2 volts. Oh, very nice. Oops. Really nice.
and here I also have some old get out so here I have some graphone uh, here was the gel and after charging you can see that here uh, on this grab pole was formed some manganese dioxide also here I have some cell and all here is the same so on the negative side uh, we'll start to electroplate some zinc and on the positive side we'll start to form some manganese dioxide when the cell is charging let's check also for this one so here you can see how tiny the entire cell is very nice Okay, this is the negative side. Oops. And here is the positive side so over here you can see some format manganese dioxide and this is the gel So guys, that's it about this idea of making some zinc manganese gel battery based on agar. That's it and we see us in the next video. Bye.